Hey everyone, welcome to Your Virtual Coffee, the web show which introduces you to great local businesses in the Denver metro area. My guest today is Jeff Davis. He is the founder of Period Kits. This nonprofit provides kits with period products to those experiencing homelessness, unstable housing, and extreme poverty. And with that, Jeff, welcome to my show. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Or good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> or whenever this is going to go out. <laughs> How long? So I've known you for a while and I know you as long as I have known you you've worked for nonprofits but how long have you actually worked in the nonprofit space I have worked in the I have worked in the nonprofit space for about 20 22 years now um I have predominantly worked with adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities and started this nonprofit period kits February 13th of 2019 okay so what prop speaking of which what what prompted you to start period kits um the, the so so period kits for the homeless was started by a, a woman named ashley Byrne in march of 2018 and she wanted to build some kits and she is someone that i think had lived experience and not the best of um circumstances and i got to know her and got to know her mission and what they're about and i just thought it was i thought it was cool i wanted to to, to participate um, as 2018 went on, Ashley and her husband decided to, um, they basically, I didn't know this is a thing, they live a van life. So they bought a, light, a van and fixed it up and they live in their van. Right now they were, or most recently they were in Moab. So when Ashley left, I just knew that, I, I knew the period kids had to keep going and I didn't know what that meant, but I knew that there was a cool cause and it was a cause that we could not keep up with the demand. And so I decided to make it a, a 501c3 and file the articles of incorporation. And that was the start in February of 19. Wow. Well, speaking of period kids, what is an issue that keeps your clientele at night and how do you solve it? I think, I think for us, there's, there's almost two clientele because the, the, the clientele of the, the end user of that person that's just unstably housed or sleeping in their car and they start their period and they don't have any resources to go buy product. And as I started, I started learning about that when I first started this and folks are using newspaper, folks are using t-shirts, right? Um, things like that. And then also I, I spent some time talking to my friends in the nonprofit world um, and finding out that this is something that even the, the, the most thorough of programs at the, you know, some of these shelters are not getting these donations. And I think it's because A, no one wants to talk about a period. We've all been kind of programmed that. And, and so I had a very early conversation and, and one of the ladies at, at the, one of the shelters told me that she can go downstairs and trip over socks and she doesn't have a pad or a liner on the shelf and they have a shower program. And so I asked her, I said, well, what do you do? And she's like, she's taking money from other programs to go buy tampons or pads or liners. So that was the, the, the real kind of, kind of turning point was nonprofits, whoever they are, should spend money on their mission and not have to you know, take from the ID card program to go buy some pads. So that's really where this all kind of came from. And that's where you come in is you can provide those kits to those other nonprofits who also serve the community. We absolutely, we provide the over 300 kits a month to six different agencies. Unfortunately, right now we have a wait list of about eight agencies. And if you add it all up, it would be about 400 kits a month that we can't meet the demand right now. Um, but we've been in effect, we've been a company less than two years and we've distributed over 300,000 products. So I think that's that's fantastic, but it also speaks to the level of yeah, there's a, there's a need out there, um, and we've had uh, you know folks have also approached us and said well you should put deodorant in there or you should put you know things like that, and we've tried to be very linear and very focused on this is what we do and this is who we support. If you want to go start hygiene kits, then do that. We support folks that are, that are are on the street and are struggling to make ends meet and need help with some product. 
Jeff, let's talk about power partners. And really quick for our audience, power partners are those businesses who target the same ideal client, but are not competitors. One example I like to use is a hairdresser and a personal trainer. Those two businesses target their ideal client is someone who wants to look good, whether it's through physical improvement, whether it's getting a haircut, new collar, what have you, they both target the same person and they can refer work back and forth. It's a really great business relationship to build. And one of the reasons why I'm very passionate about discussing it on my show. So Jeff, who is Period Kit's ideal client? Um, I think, uh, you know, ideal client, as we talk about the end user, you don't really want to anybody to have to be in that position. But for us, a power partner, when you said that, what I really thought of was those nonprofits that we support, because A, they're, they're able to then use their resources on their mission, but also there is no way that period kits in less than two years could have distributed over 300,000 products. We need those agencies to, to get those kits to the end to the end user, to the people that are in need of these products. So really any, any agency that is in need would be someone that I would consider a power partner. And an ideal client. Yeah, both. Those organizations kind of fall into both. Absolutely. Which is really great because it's kind of twice the help, right? <laughs> that, hopefully, yeah. I'm also thinking those donors, whether it's individual or corporate donors, are that ideal client because it helps to have um, someone participate who maybe can't do the distribution, who maybe can't do the things that you are able to do. Yeah, I, as the, the, I always say that there's there's no way that period kits would be as, su as successful as we've been in the first two years without our community. And it's those donors, whether it's individual or, or companies that have um, enabled us to get these products into the right hands. We have not had, obviously, the, the kind of funds to talk about th buying 300,000 products. So those have come from donations. Those have come from either donors and donors help because also, um, cash donations allow us to kind of see where we're short on other product donations. Maybe we're, we're really good on some of the products for a kit and we don't have any underwear. So then we're able to go purchase some underwear and get those in the kits and make a full kit. So I think donors both on, on the um, kind of the, the macro level, that small person that leaves a box of tampons at Copper Door Coffee is just as important as someone that just donates money and we're able to, to, to fill in some of the, the, the gaps of this, this nonprofit. So let's talk about who else targets these ideal clients. We already talked about one of them, which is, are those other nonprofits in the community yep. who benefit from your generosity. Um, homeless shelters and um, the grocery stores, the food pantries that also carry or would like to carry these types of products um, are, are coming to mind. So like, you know, Denver Rescue Mission and Samaritan's House and Tennyson Center uh, yeah. for children. Because some of these, as you and I talked off camera, some of your clientele are, are children. Absolutely. And I mean, I think the most recent study is the average age now to start menstruating is 11. Mm -hmm. That was an international study. Um, so yeah, we really serve we that 11 to almost 50, 44 kind of. Yeah, but we have a, a lot of need on the individual right now that we're seeing is, is on that teenage. People are reaching out to us to get kits for their daughter. Okay. Well, someone listening to this and watching this wants to know, I need to talk to that Jeff guy. What is the best way for donors, for someone who has a need, what is the best way for them to reach out to you? Um, probably the best way to reach out to us is through our, we have an email, just info at periodkits.org. They can email me. It's, it's jeffd at periodkits.org. 
Um, we have a pretty great uh, website that there's also we uh, we have an Amazon wish list on there because a lot of folks nowadays um, what we found in the first two years is, is folks are a lot more comfortable donating product so they will they can go to our wish list they can purchase some uh, some underwear or some pads or some wipes and have that shipped directly to us so those are the the three main ways to reach out of us we we are also on Instagram and Facebook but email will do just fine old fashioned email right. <laughs> Well, Jeff, I'm so glad you came on my show. Any last thoughts for my audience? Yeah, the, the, I mean, the one thing that started all this and the, that I want to just emphasize is that for me, that this is about a person. I, I don't care how that person um, identifies or maybe why they're in that situation, but this is a person that, that, that there are people that are choosing whether to eat or to buy products. And I don't think personally, and that's why I kind of got this going was, I don't think that's something that a person should have to choose. So I think everybody has just a little bit of empathy, put yourself in someone else's shoes and, and, um, and then decide too, right? This is something I support and I would like to support it this way. You hear it from Jeff, audience. If you want to donate to this great organization, you can go to their website, periodkits.org. You can look at their Amazon wish list. If they want to make um, a monetary donation, can they do that on your website as well? Have a big old donate button on, on our webpage. And then, uh, you know, real quick, other things there that we've had a lot of individuals just have their own period kits party where they put together kits on a Sunday with some girlfriends and had some Bloody Marys. So there's tons of ways to get involved. There you go. Jeff, thank you so much for coming on my show thank today. You. I really appreciate I really appreciate you sharing about period kits. Audience, we could not do this show without you. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. At Your Virtual Coffee, we love business professionals. So business peeps, let's talk. Bye everyone. Your Virtual Coffee is sponsored by Ventola Law. Ventola Law, mediation and legal representation at an expert level. You can find them at VentolaLaw.com. Thanks for joining me today. For more information on Your Virtual Coffee, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and wait for it, our website at YourVirtualCoffee.com. Thanks again for watching and have an incredible day.